an 81 year old gentleman presented to the ED with severe shortness of breath, initial vital signs were blood pressure 70 over 40, heart rate 170, O2 sat on room air was 55%, uh, respiratory rate 39, EKG showed AFib with RVR and diffuse ST depression. The patient was placed on 100% non breather mask and underwent immediate cardioversion. IV fluid resuscitation started simultaneously. The patient converted to normal sinus rhythm at a rate of 92 and ST depression have resolved. Blood pressure improved to 100 over 60. Autosat was 99% now after cardioversion 100% non breather mask. Patient's shortness of breath improved significantly. Chest X-ray was unremarkable. Initial troponin post cardioversion was 400 nanogram per liter. Is this an acute MI? Again, the patient has AFib with RVR and hemodynamic instability. Immediate synchronized cardioversion is the best next step. Now, post cardioversion EKG showed no ischemic changes and the initial elevated troponin level was possibly due to, to a combination of demand ischemia from the tachycardia and hypotension and the cardioversion procedure itself. The ED physician was still concerned because he believed the elevated troponin levels were higher than typically expected for demand ischemia and post cardioversion. The patient was initially admitted to the ICU given a full dose of aspirin and started on a heparin drip, which he needed anyway as he underwent cardioversion for, from AFib rhythm. The serial troponins levels were 500 and then dropped to 420 nanogram per liter and echocardiogram showed EF of 35%. The patient was evaluated by cardiology and discharged a day later on oral amiodarone, apixaban, metoprolol and lisinopril with cardiology outpatient follow-up in one week. The lessons we learned here, cardioversion, defibrillator shocks, ablation, pacing, cardiac contusions, and surgery may cause some troponin elevations. When in doubt and you cannot decide if it's an acute MI or there is an alternative diagnosis, it treated as MI until proven otherwise. Most non-MI causes of elevated troponin levels cause modest stable elevated troponin levels, but significantly high elevated troponins with significant rise and fall strongly suggest MI but again it's not diagnostic. Tachycardia induced cardiomyopathy improves with medical management and adequate rate control. Tachycardia and hypotensions are common causes of demand ischemia. 